What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How's it going? I hope you're doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matty Tomato. Thank you ever so much for tuning in, and welcome to another Transport Fever game here. So, uh, don't know how long this one's going to be. Could be fairly short, uh, but could be sort of medium-sized, not entirely sure at this point. Uh, but just fancy playing uh, something a little bit different uh, and a slightly different challenge uh, when it comes to tra Transport Fever, because in all honesty, I am guilty of playing on flat maps like all the time um so i wanted to try something different so i wanted to play on uh, the hilly map uh like a really really hilly uh sort of mountains hopefully depends on the generation of the map of course um not going to do any achievements here because we're going to run some mods um because i'm also going to have like a slightly british english sort of theme uh to this particular game so uh we're going to go with the small map uh hilly start in the year 2000 uh let's just pick a random seed here and in terms of the mods here uh, most of them are just sort of like um a couple of like locomotives uh, some extra trains uh concrete bridge is kind of nice i like the concrete bridge option uh and some yeah some uk buses basically so just a couple of little mods uh that just uh, you know just it, it give us a few more options really uh, i'm gonna go for english i think we could go american but uh, honestly yeah with the british scene so let's just go english that'll do randomize again i don't know something a little bit like that and let's go okay so let's see how we get on with this one um still reeling to be honest from the uh failure of the uh, metropolis achievement run uh i finished a few days ago um yeah i was quite gutted that i didn't get that achievement but uh, we did get a couple of other achievements in that run which was kind of nice so uh let's see uh what happened i mean we're just we're sort of chilling here we're not going for any particular achievement but we're going to try and play to the map see what happens see what we get uh ooh, okay um interesting oh my god <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's that's character. That's got some character that place. Uh, but that looks awful to get to. Uh, okay, what do we got? We got Glossop down here. Uh, even this is pitched up on a slight hill. Um, cool. Okay. Then we got a huge patch of water here. Uh, we've got Potten. Oh boy. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we've got Ellesmere Port over here, which is very small. Oh my god. Uh, we've got Bogner Regis over here. <laughs> That's quite flat. That's okay. We like that. Um, and we have Midhurst over this way. Okay. Cool. Right. How do we want to play this then? Um, I, look, looking at the water um, in terms of industry, is there anything we could do like with some ships? That would be really nice if we could do some shipping. Uh, so we've got a steel work. We've got two steel works there. Fuel isn't too far away. Logs into planks. Food processor over there, which we could do like trucks across to. So the food across there, maybe. That might be an option. Uh, we've got some construction bricks here. Crude oil there. Mm, coal. Uh, what have we got down here? We've got food, or oh, processors rather, and then, oh, this is going to be difficult to do much in the way of industry. Um, like, we could do, like, a big boat run all the way up here to this food processor. Is that the only... Yeah, that's the only food processor on the whole map, so we could do that. Uh, the alternative would be to... We could do planks and plastic here. We could run the grain over to here to make the plastic and then somehow bring the planks so the wood down here perhaps to this one and then in that might be possible could do a lot of shipping I mean with the fact that these two hills are on the side of that or it's a huge bridge so let's let's explore that at another point um i think initially though we could definitely do like boats we could do a boat from here to here and then do like trucks to and fro to bring this stuff over there maybe it seems a bit convoluted when you could probably just do like a train that goes over there 
But then I'm thinking about the train that how... I mean, I'm certainly thinking we could do Bogner to Ellesmere Port. As awkward as that might be. We might be able to get it in there, for example, and then get it across that way. That might be the way to go. Uh, and then we could also do Bogner. Just going to call it Bogner. Um, across over here to Midhurst. There's a gap here that might be exploitable. Or we go around. So I think we'll start off with that. I think we'll do uh, Bogner to Ellesmere Port and Bogner to Midhurst and set up two trains that run along there. I think that's what we'll do. Now we might be able to get a track down here to Potton as well if we cross and go in there. So that might be possible. So we might make Bogner Regis into a bit of a hub here. As for connecting to the other two, uh, my goodness, um, I haven't really worked that out. So let's... Um, Let's just focus on getting this connected to start with. I don't think we're going to run any boats up there, so I think I'm quite confident to just do some track. Yeah, so if I built the station there, we could have track going that way. We could maybe do that as well. Okay, so uh, let's get a station up to start with then. And I think I'm going to go three and... Uh, oh, I could go with... 320 just to make sure because we might end up with some long trains but i might just go 240 um so let's do yeah three three platforms there because i might run a track up this way yeah that's probably going to be the way to go it's still very hilly but it might be possible to get over there so okay so High speed tracks. I'll start off by connecting up Ellesmere Port. Um, but I think first things first, I think what we'll do is we'll do this. Because these two will come out here like this. That one. Mm, might keep it on this side for now. Uh, so, I'm going to need to build a bigger bridge there anyway if we're doing boats. So, let's start by bulldozing this run this through here like that a uh, little bit wonky and a little bit weird but it's okay um okay then sort of want to follow the road uh, so let's do something a bit like that We can actually do a fair amount of curve there without... Yeah, see, now we're starting to go up the hill. Uh, so this could be interesting. I think it's going to be just a climb up here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bulldoze this. Uh, we'll build an end terminal that is only one track. Now, oh, yeah, see, this is the problem. We can do it there. That's an epic turn. Ah. But we can do this. So if I pull that out a little bit more... Oh, now the ultimate question here. Can do that, but... <laughs> that is awful on every level. <laughs> Boy, that is dreadful. Okay, right. Um, oh, but now it's trying to do that, you see. And I don't want that to do that. Um, can I? Oh, no. Um, so I may actually have to... Yikes. Um, I have to actually, like, back this up. And it might be like a huge bridge. See, now that's saying too much slope. So... Get rid of that. Now let's give it the best possible chance. Now, is that going to work? It's a huge climb. 
It's an almighty climb, and it's 4.5 million. 7 million if we do the concrete. Okay, so we'll go with the, the steel here, but it keeps it fairly okay-ish. Blimey, that's so high. Um, the advantage of doing that, though, is you may be able to run some tracks underneath it if we end up doing some shenanigans like trying to create goods. Um, so that is the advantage of doing that. Okay, so now that I've got that one in, um, I want to try and go over to Midhurst now. Um, uh, right, let's do... Concrete is significantly more expensive, but I do want to see it. So um, let's do that now. Here's going to be the fun bit. I obviously need to put all the roads back as well that I have demolished, so I'm aware of that. Okay, move that across around here. Now, you want to be a little bit careful of these hills. Now, this is going up the hill, but I might be able to sort of bring it around this way. I think that's possible. Uh, very expensive. In fact, I've actually dug into the hill here, and that's kind of not what I wanted to do. Sort of didn't really want to do that. We may end up actually tunneling this last bit. Okay, new tram available. Um, that's actually okay. I don't mind that. Um, now, can I... This is going to be the interesting bit. Yes, I can. Okay, so that's good. So can I connect these guys up here? There is a small tunnel there. And actually, it is better to do that tunnel. It's cheaper. So let's do that. Okay, so that's now connected up. Now let's sort these roads out. Um, hmm. I'm going to do this. Shouldn't be too hard to bridge there, because, of course, I've already got into the valley. Now, if I bring this across here like that... Then I can connect that up there. No, it's not so important. Okay, good. Right. Um, there were a couple of things I need to connect up here as well, weren't there? Um, yikes. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to use the coal. I should still connect it up, though, shouldn't I? Yeah, just draw that around there, like that. Okay, um, good. What I think I'll do is upgrade that bit to a small street. Because I think I might put a bus turn around here. If I can fit one in. Hang on. Got to fit it in, of course. Yeah. Although, can I do it like this? No, there's too much slope. Can't do it. Um, let's put it there. No, there's too much slope. I can't do that either. Um, geez. <laughs> oh my god. This is so badly positioned. I was hoping to do like some sort of bus turnaround. Although I might not need to. I'm going to run it up here instead. Although there's. <laughs> Genuinely do not know what to do here. Um, like maybe if I put it there. That might be better. You have to walk all the way around here, but. <sighs> it's less than ideal. But uh, have I connected up everything else? I think I have. Game's not flagging it. Obviously, it only only flags up if you do if you break important connections. So, um, right. The last thing I want to do here then is get a train depot going. So let's put that there. So then we can serve both of these like that. Now, can I also connect up there by any chance? I don't think so. 
um, which is why I'm therefore just going to build another depot on the end here. Uh, it's that way. So just do that. So then that can service that track there. Excellent. Okay. Spent nine, just over nine million on sorting that out. Okay. Um, I think we get the trains running first. Or should we set the buses up first? Let's set the buses up first. Right. Um, so, uh, Road Depot. Although Bognor Regis could do a tram. I think we could do a tram here. Um, I'm going to bulldoze that one building that's there. I like the idea of a tram. Running sort of around this way a little bit. I would kind of like to do that, to be honest. Yeah, I would like to do that. I know it's destroying buildings, but that would be useful. So then if we go to... Um, Tram. Actually, hang on a minute. I need to do the roads first. Um, here we go. Tramway. Okay, so around here. Up this way. And then along there. Like that. That's a good way. Excellent. I like the trams. They're really, really good. Um, so now we can do the tram depot. Uh, somewhere in there. That'll do. Right. And then we need to put the stops in. That's for trains. Okay. So, tram. Like that. One for offloading. Uh, let's do a stop in there. A stop in there. And a stop up there. We don't need that many at this point. But we can obviously expand as we go. Uh, we can then draw a route. Uh, yellow it is. So we start here, come around this way. I mean, it's a tram route, and it can't do that. Um, okay, so Park Lane is for offloading. Uh, so Bogner Tram, Bogner Ram. <laughs> Bogner tram. <coughs> oh, sorry. And so if I then buy a tram, we'll get the most modern one. Uh, and if I run that on here, the route should change. Yes, there we go. It's gone around that way because it can only follow the uh, the tram route. Excellent. Okay, so we'll start off with the tram here because I think Bogner Regis is going to be the hub. Uh, well, it is going to be the hub, so um, there's going to be more growth here than anywhere else. So a tram, I think, is going to be really efficient here. Uh, Midhurst. We could do with a... Uh... No, this is too far away, isn't it? Can I build it in there? I can. It's expensive, but I think I would rather do that. Yeah. Okay, so let's put the bus turn around in there. This is going to be buses. And then I would like to go across here. I think I'm going to join these up. Uh, do it like that so we actually have an intersection. Uh, I'm going to join these up. So it's going to come along here. So we'll stop there. Stop there. And we'll stop there. That's kind of it, really. We don't need to do too much else. Uh, excellent. Right, so let's do... Um, let's just call this Midhurst. Doesn't have to be anything else. Um, we'll keep on with the yellow theme, it's fine. Start there. Literally. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we need the road depot. Uh... 
just there will do i suppose we will buy a road vehicle uh, i'll start off with this one now this one's got an increased capacity but honestly this is quite a small area for now so we'll start off with this one because it's cheaper um and that will service this area for quite a while because it's only a small area also i think yeah i built that in and so half of these are all covered so can't really foresee all that much bus usage here certainly not in the short term but we can upgrade as necessary right now we've got ellesmere port uh right how are we gonna do this um uh i don't really want to destroy that building so cut in there like that i think then we will grab this so we're turning around in there go to there so we can service this area here at the bottom uh, and like a central one in there that's quite close though isn't it I feel like that's actually really close I might just put it a little bit sort of more central just in there uh, we could probably put another stop out here if this area grows so um, that's not a problem um, that's a lot of money to build that there yikes because uh, it's so hilly God. Um, is there really nowhere else ah there we go that's better 15 that'll do um, go yellow and we'll call this Ellesmere Port uh, which is in Cheshire um, down there and then up there just a small bus excellent uh and then again i think we'll just go with the um the small one that is cheaper to run Hellsmere port yeah Hellsmere port in cheshire uh bognor regis in west sussex uh midhurst i'm quite sure is also west sussex but there's probably more than one midhurst i feel like there is more than one midhurst uh what else potten i can honestly say i've never heard of potten whitehaven feels like um kent could be wrong there though i feel like whitehaven is kent not sure glossop is the midlands area i think i'm not sure let me know let me know in the comments section um i've heard of them these two certainly i've heard of these two i've never heard of potton though cool okay so that's the buses running uh and then i think the um the last thing to do uh to get us up and running here is to get the trains going so I think we're going to go with a funky pink for the trains. Um, so we'll start with Bogner to Midhurst. What? Oh, I selected the bus stop by mistake. I meant to select the train station. Um, there we go. Bogner to Midhurst. So let's call this uh, Bogner Midhurst. You know, simple as that. Um, I think we'll carry on with the pink theme. Uh, we'll do Bogner Ellesmere Port. Uh, so let's call this Bogner Ellesmere Port. Ooh, whoopsie. That would totally bug me if I didn't uh, correct that. Good. Okay. Right. Um, so in this, see, we've also got um, we've got different trains here. Of course, um, we've got the southern trains. Um, That's probably a good start actually 5.64 million for that uh as opposed to say buying something like this and then getting a couple of these but then this is not very fast possibly this one but no i think actually i tell you what i've got the hsts as well i've got the, uh, they can take so many passengers these things um i think i'm just going to start with a small southern train here 5.64 million now can i color this Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so bad. But you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> so let's buy that. And let's run that on the Midhurst. What does this look like, by the way? It's literally just a completely pink train. <laughs> Love it. 
absolutely love it. Right. Um, and then, kind of, uh, to be honest, the same thing on the Ellesmere port line. And what's the difference between... Oh, one of them's four cars. What's the difference between these two, then? Slightly different model. One of them's got a little bit more power, but the other one's cheaper. And then what's this one? Oh, this is five cars. Oh, I see. There's more passenger capacity. But in all honesty, I think we'll just go with the... Um... <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. And put that on the Bogner Ellesmere. Um... Bogner Ellesmere port. So I can see the actual train. Uh, Bogner Midhurst. I think that's just going to be better so that when it comes to looking at the locomotives, I can actually see the names as well as the, the lines. Oh, man, that's funny. Look at this thing. awful also it's really slow up this hill <laughs> that's actually quite painful that how slow that is <laughs> oh man okay then uh, but i'm gonna end this episode right here um so that's it for now so cheers for watching guys uh, be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for more from our transport fever game here where we're playing on a super hilly map and uh, we're just chilling yeah see you later